are you so nervous, babe? You've washed that same plate like three times already. I just want to make sure the house is clean. Knowing my mom, she's going to point out if the tortillas are in alphabetical order. Is that really all that's going on? Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about me. I'm all good. Uh-huh. So, babe. Mm -hmm. Do they know how they would be here? They do. Do they? Yes, they do. So what's the problem? Well, since you're gonna keep pestering me about it, I guess I'll tell you. Um, my parents know that you live here with me and they know that we've been together for almost a year. Um, but... But? But, and this is the big old but. Babe, but, just say it. Oh my God. They don't know who you look like. All they know is that you were born here and you're on your way towards getting a doctorate degree. Wait, wait, wait. How do they not know what I look like? Don't you post pictures of us on social media? Yes, but I'll, like I hide my parents from seeing it on Facebook. Why would you do that? Am I ugly or something? Like, are you ashamed of me? Look, honey, my parents are a bit old fashioned, my dad especially. And when I say a bit, I do mean very. It's be always just, just because like, they always wanted me to marry a white American citizen so that I can have white babies with blue eyes and then later I could become a citizen here. Well, I'm not white, so what are you gonna do now? I'm getting there. I thought maybe that I could tell them about your aspirations and accomplishments and all, so that they can see past your skin color. They are a little racist towards the black community, so I thought maybe if I told them all these things, they can see, you know, how handsome and smart you are. All right, well, I guess I'll have to charm them somehow. Do you think they'll ease up on me if they knew I was half Latino? Honey, look, <laughs> you're Puerto Rican. That would make things so much worse. Mexicans and Puerto Ricans don't really mix. So, you know, we're like the Latinx Romeo and Juliet in the contemporary world. You better not use that word Latinx if they're old fashioned. Well, trust me, I've had so many debates on them with that, but I won them all. I mean, they still don't get it, but agree to disagree, you know? Damn, you should have become a lawyer. Since you're so good at debating. <laughs> no, oh my God, no. I can practically feel like my parents are here with them saying that. Babe, is there any good that comes from your parents? I mean, you make me want to wash those same clean dishes now too. Well, yeah. I mean, they just want to see me succeed and I appreciate their support a lot, especially with me being undocumented and all. See, that's good. Plus, no, they, they brought you into this country so that you can be in my arms and so that I can tickle you. <laughs> Wait! Oh my god, they're here. Uh, um, get, uh, you ready? Yeah, you ready? yeah. Um, get your Spanish ready. Um, you took your Duolingo lessons, right? Listo. Okay. Hi! Hey, welcome yeah. to my casita. <laughs> I missed you. I Hola, mija. <laughs> Hola, mucho gusto. Me llamo Joshua. Hola, Joshua. You speak Spanish? Si, un poquito. Ah, que bueno, but I've been practicing my English to meet you. I've heard a lot about you, Joshua. <laughs> and I of you both. You've raised an excellent daughter, and I am so grateful to have her. I just hope I have your blessing. Especially you, Senor Martinez. We will see. Yes, we will. Um, hopefully I don't disappoint. Uh, I made chiles rellenos. Your favorite thing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, hija. When did you learn to cook? Hmm? I always knew, ma. 
I was just lazy. <laughs> and I'm surprised you're not in your pajamas, Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <sorry. laughs> Thank you. Gracias, Señor. Gracias, Señor, por estos alimentos de tu abundancia. Amén. 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 So, Joshua, um, are you a religious man? Um, no, if I'm being honest. My mother was religious, though. Um, she believed in God, and she liked to think that her prayers gave her strength, so... I like to think that they give me that same strength too. Mm. Are your parents divorced? No, my father actually passed when I was 10. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Joshua. Oh no, it's okay, really. It inspired me. I remember his dream was to work for NASA. And one night he brought home a telescope and we would look through it every night. We would see the stars and the moon and occasionally Mars and Jupiter. So when he died, I, I wanted to continue his dream. So. Right now, I'm currently studying for my doctorate degree in mm. computer science, and hopefully one day I'll you know, end up working for NASA. That is so great! <laughs> I'm sure you'll make your dad's dreams come true, Joshua. Muchas gracias. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, um, I forgot dessert in the car. It must be the nerves. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't take too long. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't think your dad likes me. I'll be back. I don't understand. What, what don't you understand? How you could do something like this to us. What are you talking about that? You told us you were dating a doctor and instead you're dating a black guy who wants to go to outer space? Daniel, calmate. I like Joshua. He's a good boy. And Victoria loves him. As long as he's a citizen, I approve. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. And even if he wasn't a citizen, it shouldn't matter. I love who I love. Sandra, stay out of it. Your daughter has disappointed us enough. She's dating a black guy who was probably arrested before. Do you know how that looks on you, Victoria? What the hell are you even saying? You, an illegal alien here in the United States? What about when you try to get your papers? That's not going to help you. I already told you, a legal alien is not the best term to use. I am a legal too, Nina, and I can use whatever term I want to describe us. See, th this is why I was avoiding showing you a picture. Because I knew you would be flat out racist and immediately judge him without even getting to know mm. him. He's a good man, and he cares so much about his family. Unlike you, who- Unlike me? What do you mean, unlike me? You don't You don't think I, I, I love my family? No, you don't support us. You really don't. <laughs> I spend long hours in the hot sun, working, trying to get food on your plate. How is that not supporting? Victoria, your father's right. He has done so much for us. And for you. That's how you got through school, mija. No, ma. I'm the one that's been working under the table to get by in school. Whenever I would ask dad for money, he would say it was useless to invest in me going into college. Because he said that I would never get hired anywhere. But look at me now. <laughs> what? Where are you now? Did I miss the memo and, and this whole apartment building is yours? Do you have a house? Are you married? Do you have a job? Or, or are you a mother? I have a career. I work and do what I love doing while getting also paid for it. Ay, and por... I don't need to be a wife or a mother to be successful, Dad. Por favor. 
what good is it going to do you to be a high school teacher? See, I was right not to invest in her going to college. Daniel, por favor, calmate. Sandra, do not tell me to calm down. Listen to your husband when he tells you to stay out of it. Oh, well, there you go, being Mr. Machista. Just because you're a man doesn't give you the right to say anything you want to your wife. Mom, don't listen to him, okay? You, you can say whatever you want. You need to start obeying me. Go break up with that boy right now. I don't want to see that astronaut ever again. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to kick him out of our home that we both pay rent for. He lives with you here? Yes, I have mentioned that to you before. That is when you thought he was white. I thought he was a doctor. Not a medical one if that's what you were hoping for. You lied to us. He's a boy with a foolish dream that will never happen. You always disappoint us and you always rebel up against me. You always talk back to me like a teenager. How am I rebelling, Dad? For standing up for myself, for being understanding towards others, or for wanting to educate. For wanting to live my dream. Isn't that what you wanted when you and mom risked your lives and my own for a shot at the American dream? Mm hmm? I'm sorry, okay? But this is my dream. And if you don't like that, I really don't care. I will gladly cut you off until you learn to respect me. Hija de su pinche madre! Yeah, yeah, both of you. Daniel, por favor, calmate. Victoria, respect your father. No, ma. He treats me like I'm some rebellious teenager. I'm 25 and a strong woman who has fought to be where I am right now. Look, there are so many undocumented folks out there who have never gone to college, graduated, or have had a career at all. I'm that slim percentage. And dad was never even proud of me. He didn't even go to my graduation. Haz lo que te de la chingada gana. You want me out of your life? Then fine. Who's acting like a teenager now, huh? I said I was gonna cut you off, not out of my life, okay? I'm taking time away from you until you learn to apologize. So now I have to apologize to you. Yeah, I require respect. You respect me and I respect you. Vámonos, Sandra. Vámonos. Daniel, you're hurting me. I'm sorry, Ma. It's okay, Mija. I'm sorry he's like this. No, it's not your fault. Victoria, I know your father doesn't like Joshua, but I do. Both of you are living your lives. That's all I ever wanted for you. I wanted you to be happy. To live in a world, Victoria, where you don't have to worry about what you will eat for dinner or have cuts on your feet because you don't have any shoes to wear. You are living comfortable and happy. And therefore, Miha, I am happy. You are living the better life. Thank you, Mom. That means the world to me. What happened? I can tell you later. Do you think it's okay if we give my mom a ride home? Of course. Is that when, Senora? Sí, mijo. Don't worry. And, and thank you for supporting my, my daughter, Joshua. I always will. <laughs>